What is going on guys, it's Dan here, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is just going to be kind of talking about uh, what I'm going to be streaming uh, later on in the future and kind of why, why I didn't stream uh, today or yesterday uh, or the day before. Well, I guess I, I'll get into it. I hope you guys do enjoy this. Uh, this is kind of a rush video, kind of not. I just kind of want to just get through this because I've been on the road for the last few hours and I just want to relax. Anyways guys, hope you enjoy this. Let's get into this. But anyways, guys, the actual main purpose of the video is actually my first uh, top five in a long time. So, but before we get into the top five, I just I just want to clarify something that this top five was very, like I said, kind of rushed. So don't judge me about it. But today we're gonna be looking at the top five things that Treyarch Zombies wants you to forget about Black Ops Three Zombies. Now, don't get me wrong, Black Ops Three Zombies was amazing, and in some cases it was. But in every game that's amazing, there's always bad things. And in today, we're going to be reflecting on the things that are bad. If you guys do enjoy this, I might make a second part to this and looking at all the good things that they want you to remember. But today, we're just going to be looking at everything you guys are going to, or Treyarch wants you to forget. And coming in at number five, this is going to be the Razorback on Dorizendrac. Now, this is a very minor one, but if you guys do recall a long time ago, and literally like back in February... Uh, the Dorizendrak trailer, like, for Dorizendrak, the actual map, before it came out, you could actually spot the Razorback, uh, I believe it was Dempsey that was holding it, and it was in the car, I believe, in the beginning. Uh, don't quote me on that, I don't remember, because I honestly didn't even, like, notice this at the time, but I, everybody was making videos about it. That's coming in at number 5, Razorback on Dorizendrak, which, as you all know, was DLC 1, and Razorback wasn't appeared until DLC 2. But coming in at number 4, we have the fact that DLC 1 was actually, in my opinion, the best. This is all my opinion, guys, but in my opinion, I do think that DLC 1 was the best. Here's why. DLC 1 is Dorizendrac. Uh, technically, I guess it's the giant since you can buy the giant now. I, I'm Dorizendrac's DLC 1, let's be honest here. Uh, but basically, guys, in my opinion, out of all four DLC maps, which was... Uh, Dorizendrak, Zetsubo no Shima, Gord Krovi, and Revelations. Out of those four, the best in terms of cutscene, in terms of gameplay, in terms of uh, maybe to play with a friend, all that stuff. Dorizendrak's the best. A, as four wonder weapons. The cutscene was amazing. Like, at the end of the cutscene, you blew up the moon, which was supposed to blow up the earth, which kind of started the zombie apocalypse. So, obviously, like, the, honestly, that's a better ending than Revelations was killing the Shadow Man the second time. Like, let's be honest here. I think everybody would have preferred the Dorizendrak ending as opposed to that. But that's obviously, I guess, just my opinion. And let me know down below if you guys believe that. But anyway, yeah, number four is DLC1 was the best. And coming in at number three, we actually have the fact that Zetsubo no Shima was not only hyped, but overhyped to be the most scariest map in all of Treyarch Zombies. And obviously, this is completely false. And here's why. So, in my opinion, and in the majority's opinion, everybody th believes, and still believes, Verukt is the scariest map. And in many ways, it is. In many ways, it really is, with all the cool easter eggs of hearing, like, the, at uh, the chair, you can hear the, the girl, or, not the guy screaming from the, like, the, his head getting cut open, or something like that, I don't know. It's some really creepy stuff, and Zetsubo no Shima was supposed to be the creepiest map, or the scariest map, and that's what it was hyped to be. Jason Blundell himself said that it was supposed to be the scariest map. And was it? No, it really, it really wasn't. It, is it because I'm kind of older now and zombies doesn't scare me? It might be because of that. But in my opinion, I don't think Zetsubo no Shima is scary at all. I think, if anything, it's a tedious and stupid map that shouldn't have existed. They really tried something. They really they tried something. I applaud them for that. But I don't like it. It was supposed to be Shinonuma like 2. Uh, the, the gameplay right now is the giant. That's Duris, the third time they've made Duris. Sheena Numa was a good map in World at War, just very glitchy, obviously. And they were basically this wasn't like a remaster of Sheena Numa, but it it was it was Sheena Numa, but like experiments were done on it. So it could have been so well done, but unfortunately it wasn't, and that comes in at number three. And ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number two, we're almost nearing the end of this my first top five. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this so far. But at number two, it's all the glitches. Now, this is not a minor thing at all, but if you were not affected by this, then it is a minor thing. But there's so many people that were. And that's in Black Ops 3 is the most glitchiest Call of Duty in terms of zombies out of all of them. Now, all the maps were tested weeks before. Revelations was done before DLC 3 happened, but yet you still see so much glitches such as... Uh, well, with Revelation, sometimes when you went to the boss fight, you would teleport there with you and your friends, and you guys would all just get a game over. There were so many death barriers, just 
so much stuff that would make you uh, lose your points. There was a thing in uh, Zetsubo and I think the giant as well. You, you would literally lose your gun and get the annihilator and the giant, I'm pretty sure, and lose all your points. It is so weird. All the glitches. It was crazy. It was the glitchiest game in my opinion so far. And I've only been playing since Black Ops 1, so World at War was glitchy, but, like, World at War's glitchiness was way different compared to this. This was, like, unplayable if you got a glitched out game. You literally, and the for, the guy that was supposed to beat Zets, or, sorry, Noah J, he was in the boss fight about to beat it, and what happens? Connection Interrupted. That's another huge one that I don't even want to get into, but Connection Interrupted was a ginormous glitch as well, and that comes in at number two. But anyways, guys, moving now to the number one spot, and obviously this is going to be the thing that Treyarch is going to... If you're going to remember any of those other four, this is something that Treyarch definitely wants you to forget, and this is my opinion, of course. You might think all the glitches is the most, but in my opinion, it's the fact that week one, so a year ago, you could actually upgrade the Shadows of Evil Wonder Weapon. Now... If you didn't have Black Ops 3 then, then you wouldn't know this, but it, or technically in Revelations, they made it a thing again. The Apothecary Servant was upgradable. They brought it back and they made it upgradable. They made the upgrade process pretty easy. But in Shadows of Evil, when Shadows first came out, that wasn't the case. They, I don't think they, I think they, they programmed it obviously to be upgraded, but they didn't, I don't know if something went wrong and they just forgot to delete it, but basically what you would do is you'd go up to the Pack-A-Punch, put your, let's say, RK5, switch to the Apothecary Servant and hold square really fast, and it would Pack-A-Punch it, and it would have 25 bullets, and it would be amazing. And Revelations only has 15. So I think it should still have 25. I mean, 15 is still, like, good, but it's not really enough. Anyways, back then it was achievable, and it was overpowered, and that's how a lot of people got to higher rounds on that map. But anyways, guys, that's my top five things that Treyarch Zombies wants you to forget about Black Ops 3 Zombies. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. This is my first top five in a long time since I, well, back when I, when I recorded Minecraft, I did a couple top fives for this, but it was kind of, you know, it was like two different games. It was super weird. So this is the first time I've done a top five that I've just been doing uh, Call of Duty. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Like I said, don't forget to leave a like. I'll be streaming tomorrow as well. I wasn't streaming yesterday. Uh, or the day before because we were just uh, on the road. I might make a video about that or I don't know. We were just traveling somewhere. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Anyways, guys, see you in my next video. Peace out, guys.